Nightclub on Ann Street has officially shut down after the city of Charleston says more than a dozen lease violations have occurred at that establishment alone. Aura Night Latin Club, uh, formerly known as Deco, is close to the public now. Live Five's Meredith Blair now joining us from the scene to explain why the city put that embattled club on notice back in May of last year. Yes, Justin, I obtained these documents here and they show a number of violations that go from June 2023 all the way to March 2024. Aggravated assaults, a sex offense, disorderly conduct, assault on police while resisting arrest. The list goes on. Crimes the city says happened on nightclub property. City Attorney Julia Copeland says following an eviction notice issued to Deco, the night spot became Aura Latin Club and the business plan changed in an effort to show the city they were working to improve conditions. But again, uh, starting in December of 23, we logged in at least nine incidents of violence, um, violence towards officers. So again, we put the master tenant on notice that they needed to evict their subtenant uh, due to these safety issues. And then the fact it was a city owned building. In the process of this eviction, the city learned through an anonymous tip that the club was also hosting a male strip show, which is in violation of the lease and zoning. We did send in some undercover officers to document uh, that that activity was actually taking place. And we used that information and that video during the hearing uh, to revoke the business license. The city's business license committee revoked Aura's license after Copeland says they heard all sides last month. Mayor Cogswell said in part, as part of the Charleston community, it's crucial to operate responsibly and prioritize the welfare of our residents. Neglecting these rules will lead to consequences to maintain a safe environment for everyone. The operator of the club did not respond to me today when I reached out to request an interview with him. Live in downtown Charleston, Meredith Blair, Live 5 News.